So we're back in the kitchen. We are about to complete our pineapple and our mixed berry shrubs that we've been working on for about two days. Um, we packaged it the day before, I believe, and then we just let it sit in the refrigerator so it's nice and cold. All the vinegar, the sugar, the fruit has all married together and now it's one. So let's do an ingredient rundown for the actual cocktail making. I have some diced pineapples. I have our pineapple shrub. I have a ginger beer. I have some Havana Club um, silver-esque rum. I have some basil Hayden toast. I have the mixed berry shrub. I have some mixed berries in here. And then I have a sparkling water. What kind of liquor is the toast? Um, it's a bourbon, but it's toasted because I believe it's actually made with rice, if I'm not mistaken. So when I read the reviews and I talked to the guy, he said that it was smoother than the original basil hayden and that's kind of what i was going for i'm not really a bourbon drinker i'm a tequila and a rum head so i figured this is going to be a good starting point so i'll be back and we'll get into the cocktail so i have about a quarter cup of diced pineapple in here then i'm going to take the rum which i'm super excited about so when we went on vacation i actually stocked up a lot on the havana club because i couldn't get it in california and what do you know havana club is like water out here in texas so i'm gonna go ahead and put in two and a half jiggers of rum anyone knows me i like it strong so we got a two and a half jiggers in then i'm gonna come Shake it up, shake it up, shake, 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 shake up that shrub. We are going to do one and a half with the shrub. All right, let's get a little bit more in here. All right, so we got the shrub in. Now we are going to scoop this stuff out the way. Let's put the lid on it because I am clumsy. We got our muddler. We're just going to muddle in the fruit together with the mixture. Just kind of get it nice and good. All right, looks about mixed up to me. All right, so I'm gonna take the ice and we're gonna make sure that it's all sealed. We're gonna shake, 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 until they're both ice cold. Now let's go ahead and pour it into the glass. And remember to leave some room so that way you can pour your ginger beer over the top. Okay. So now I'll come over here and we're gonna add in the ginger beer just to give it a nice little zip and fizz. All right. And if you're like me, you can always add more rum over the top as a floater, but I'm going to spare the cameraman today and I'm not gonna do her in so early in the day. So voila, here you go. Tropical vacation in a glass. This is our pineapple rub um, cocktail. All right, cameraman, here you go. All right, here's mine. Let's get into it, cameraman. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Wow, this is really good. So I don't even like ginger beer. Mm. But it's delicious. It's so kind of herbal, effervescent. I don't know if that makes sense. But, wow. Vinegar, not even a factor in this cocktail. All right, so we're going to drink this one. We're going to get everything out the way. We're going to come back so we can do the mixed berry one. See you guys soon. So we are back with cocktail number two. This one I'm super excited about. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the ginger beer, but I wanted to use something fizzy that was a bit different from the second cocktail. So that's how that got here. So we're gonna get us a handful about of each of the berries. We got the blackberries, the raspberries, strawberries in here. We're going to start the little muddleness real quick. So we got the strawberries. And they're a bit thicker. All right, so I'm going to shake up our uh, shrub. And we are going to put... Whoa, whoa. Going to put two, two shrubs in here. <laughs> All right, getting excited. See, okay. Mm, this smells like so delicious. I wish you guys could smell it. 
I know you guys can see it, but I wish you guys can smell what I smell. It's just tangy, sweet, fruity. So I'm gonna muddle it up some more. Now that I got the strawberries slightly broken up, all right. Then we're going to add in two and a half of the bourbon because I like to get you drunk. All right. All right. Why not do three? Do three. We're staying home for Christmas. We don't have nowhere to go. Let's enjoy our cocktails. All right. So we're going to muddle it up just a little bit more. Get all that Basil Hayden mixed in with the fruit and the shrub. I'm going to put the ice. We're going to shake it. Hopefully, we have better luck this time. We're getting it off. All right. It's nice and cool. Let's get this stuff out the way. So that way you can see it set up. Let's get the ice in here. We got some crushed ice. You can use whatever ice you have. Okay, I'm making a mess. Cameraman's gonna get me. All right, let's get that out the way. Come on. All right. Woo. That was a lot easier than the last one. All right, we're gonna strain it. We're gonna leave some room. For the fizziness on top. All right. And get some fizz in your life. Woo! Just a little bit. Just a little bit of fizz. We're gonna put some berries on there. So that way we all feel like we're burying out. All right, cameraman. Let's drink. Here's yours. Thank you. Welcome. Here's mine. Cheers. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Let's Christmas. Let's enjoy. Wow. Oh man, this stuff is so good. Mm -hmm. This bourbon is so smooth. Delicious. I didn't even realize it, but this literally tastes like Christmas in a glass. Minus the pine, but it's just warm, it's deep, it's just smooth, slightly silky. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy making these cocktails as much as I did. I can't wait to keep making them throughout the day. But like always, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for accompanying me on my Christmas cocktails.